Jahan Dotson trade, a move Eagles GM Roseman had to make. On my latest projected 2024 Eagles roster under wide receivers it says a dot J. Brown Devonta Smith Britton Covey Johnny Wilson someone who's not here yet. The more we watched training camp the more it became obvious the Eagles just didn't have enough behind Brown and Smith. Paris Campbell and John Ross were fun stories both former high draft picks trying to resurrect their careers Campbell after a miserable season with the Giants in 2023 Ross after sitting out the last two years. They're both good guys trying to overcome adversity and that made them easy to root for. But the days went by and there was a play here and a play there but neither one took ownership of that WR3 spot. Campbell missed two weeks of practice with an injury and never really got going. And Ross was just starting to come on a little when he suffered a concussion in the preseason game against the Patriots and he hasn't practiced since. Covey has had a nice camp and catches the ball well out of the slot but he's also limited to one position and also limited by his 5 to 8 175 pound frame. He's going to give you all he has but you have to think in terms of the worst possible scenario if one of the starters gets hurt who takes his place. Covey isn't the answer. Wilson got off to a hot start in camp before tailing off and then suffering a concussion a week ago and while he's had some promising moments relying on a rookie sixth round pick who's still finding his way as your WR3 also isn't ideal. Inia Smith has bounced back after a terrible start but he's nowhere close to being ready. We knew this was a problem back in July when Nick Sirianni was asked about the third receiver and he said the role could be filled by a number of different people depending on the opponent the down and distance and the situation. When the first guy he mentioned as a candidate was Grant Calcaterra a backup tight end with nine career catches yet it was apparent back then the Eagles knew they didn't have enough. When you have a bunch of third receivers you don't have any third receivers. The Eagles could have gone into 2024 with what they had and been a top 10 offense. When you've got Brown Smith, Dallas Goodert, Saquon Barkley, Kenny Gainwell, Jalen Hurts and a top offensive line you're going to score a lot of points. But this is what you really admire about Howie Roseman. Having enough isn't enough. He's always going to make that one extra move and if that means trading assets he'll always do it. Because he's so good at accumulating assets with trades he's always got the ammo to get the deal done. Brown. Darius Slay. J.A.J. Chauncey Gardner-Johnson, the first time. All trades. Now add Jahan Dotson to that list. 15 days before the opener versus the Packers Roseman shipped a third round pick in 2025 and a couple seventh round picks to Washington for Dotson and a fifth round pick. Even with this move the Eagles still have picks in the first, second and third rounds next year. And now they have a wide receiver who should be a significant upgrade over what we've seen in camp the last month. Dotson was a first round pick just two years ago and he's the sixth former first round pick the Eagles have acquired since last year ended, Mackay Becton, Kenny Pickett, Devin White, Barkley Ross. The Eagles have really struggled to fill that third receiver role the last few years. QUEZ Watkins followed a promising 2021 with miserable 2022 and 2023 seasons. Zach Pascal did very little in 2022. Same with Olamai Zaki Aus last year. But Dotson although disappointing as a high first round pick makes a lot of sense in his new role. He doesn't have to live up to the first round expectations that followed him from Penn State to Washington but if he can just catch the football consistently and be a piece of the puzzle this will be a successful trade. Dotson had 84 catches for 1041 yards and 11 touchdowns in his two years in Washington and that was as a starter but with no stability at quarterback Carson Wentz Taylor Heineck Sam Howell Jacoby Briss said. Eagles fans saw firsthand what Dotson is capable of when he had a career-high 108 yards in a game at the link just 10 months ago. That probably says as much about the Eagles cornerbacks in 2023 as it says about Dotson. But it's undeniable that the Eagles are a better football team today than they were yesterday. Nobody makes more trades than Roseman and nobody is more creative about roster building. 
whether it's finding Beckton on the scrap heap and turning him into a starting guard signing Isaiah Rogers when nobody else wanted him snagging Caden Stearns after he failed a physical with the Panthers or sending draft picks within the division for a WR3 Roseman is never going to sit still. For Howie building a roster is a process that ever ends. He's never satisfied. He's built two Super Bowl rosters and now he's doing all he can to build a third. How he doesn't always do the right thing. But he always does something. Jahan Dotson trade, a move Eagles GM Roseman had to make originally appeared on NBC Sports Philadelphia.